doing today? It's Tuesday. And today we're doing a full day of eating. La, 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 la. Officially 10 and a half weeks out from my projected show date. Exciting. Oh, oh my God, I forgot. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alex. I'm a coach and a bodybuilder. And this is the prep series. Cocky as fuck, everything by me popping up face. I got body, you name it, I got it. Cocky as fuck, I hustle, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, so let's just get started. How did we start the day? We started the day with a spin class at 5.30 in the morning. That should be punishable, a punishable offense, quite honestly. But see, the thing is, is that my friend is in from out of town and she wanted to do it and they don't offer a 6.30 class, they offer a 5.30 class. So we did a 5.30 class. Then we stopped and got a coffee, a little treat. I will be having a buff coffee later anyway. And now it's time, time for brekkie. So this is my typical, like I take this on a fasted stomach. It's aloe juice, glutamine, and then my buff chick greens. I like taking my greens and my reds separately because greens have ashwagandha. So I like to take it with caffeine because ashwagandha is a, what's the word? Adoptogen, which means that whatever else you have in your system, it just like plays with. So I find that I can like edge towards over caffeination, but it prevents like the jitters and anxiety that often come with over caffeination for me. So love that. And then reds, I will take at night because it's got like soothing, calming ingredients and I have a hard time chilling out. So, and that's not related to the over caffeination because I cut myself off of caffeine. Oh my God. Ooh, she's so skinny. Ooh. I don't know how to start these fucking things. I just like start talking and I feel like I'm tumbling all over myself, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. So to catch you up, because it's been a while since we've chatted here on the tubes, uh, this last weekend I went to Vancouver with my boyfriend who competed. He got third place. It's only been like eight months since he competed last and he's already brought like tremendous improvements. So very impressed, very proud of him. And I think that he's very glad to be done. He's ready to max out his weight class. So I'm excited for him to do that. Now it's time for me to, I mean, I've already been locked in. I've got chronic locked in syndrome, but now it's like, I don't have any more travel on my schedule. I'm just going to be at home, doing my thing, settling into routine, except, okay, here's part of the reason that I haven't filmed in two weeks is because I'm like, oh my gosh, I should do a full day of eating today. Oh, except for today is not a normal day. Oh, I should. Um, film my workout today. Oh, except we're crunched for time because we're in Tacoma. And then I realized, you know what? This, like this, these are normal days for me. So today's not really a normal day, but it is a normal day because it's just what my life looks like. Cheers. <coughs> there was one sticky one there. <coughs> I feel like I really need some curtains for this window. Fun fact, there used to be a tree there and then I chopped it down because I was like, it's ruining all of my TikToks because this is the window I stand in front of when I make TikToks. And then I took the tree down and now the morning sun just streams in. You can call this gross if you want, but I honestly rarely wash my pan. I just kind of scrape it out and hope for the best. When I first got divorced, I bought this Our Place pan and I really love it. And the blue is perfect for my kitchen and it's beautiful. I read the reviews and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, it doesn't work, blah, 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 blah. But I've been following the care instructions like pretty religiously, minus the fact that I don't wash it very frequently. And it's been great. It works just fine. It works lovely. Plus I've been making an honest attempt to use less plastics. You can only use bamboo implements on it. Um, it's not coated with Teflon. So I just feel like, you know, a non-toxic queen. The blinding, blinding sunlight. Okay, like full disclosure, I just got so frustrated fighting the light, but breakfast is done. Here's how she's looking. Oh, we got the eggs with some taco sauce. Yes, I burnt them. That's okay. Here's the piece de la resistance. This is oat bran with Trader Joe's salted almond butter and some berries. Oh my gosh, you perish. My battery died, so hopefully that was caught, but... I'm making the switch. It's time to make the switch from sugar-free ketchup, sugar-free sauces, etc., to hot sauces and mustard. Yeah, my taste buds are already changing. I can tell when I start craving like pickles and hot sauces that like 
Oh, I'm in prep now. Okay, yay. So just a little prep update for you. I'm officially 20 full pounds down. I've been prepping since right after Christmas. So I think in total, assuming it's going to be a one and done season, that I will, assuming it's a one and done season, I'll prep for a total of 25 weeks this year, which is fine by me because I usually take 50 plus weeks off of prep anyway. General guidelines, when you're dieting, you want to take twice as much time out of a calorie deficit as you spend in a calorie deficit. It's going to help keep the metabolism healthy. And finally, at a level of food and activity where, and I kind of knew that things weren't really going to start rolling until it got to about here. Uh, do I tell you my calories? No. No, I do not. But I'm doing 40 minutes of fasted cardio six days a week. Uh, which is like so totally manageable at 10 and a half weeks out totally fine I do feel like I'm softer than I have been in the past at this many weeks out But I can also see that I'm bigger. So that's exciting. My last stage weight was about 138 pounds So I'm less than 10 pounds away from that. I'm hoping to get into the low 130s this time I want to be way more diced Although I was way leaner like top to bottom than I've ever been I have also not that's also not the leanest that I've ever been. The leanest I've ever been was my 2021 season, but I had nowhere near as much muscle. Usually I take my breakfast time to kind of think about what I've got going on today. So in about 45 minutes, I have a posing session. Then I have a massage. I really need to get this shoulder worked on. I've got a knot in my chest and up into my neck that I think is also causing some back issues because what happens when we've got like tightness in the chest. So if you sit at a keyboard all day or you drive long distances, your chest ends up tight and kind of collapsed. And then the back muscles end up stretched, which as we go down the kinetic chain can end up causing like undue stress or discomfort in the low back as well. So a lot of times low back pain or discomfort isn't even like the problem isn't even centered in the low back. After that, I gotta get in the car. I drive a couple hours to pick up my dog. Thank you, so Ashley, if you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching her this weekend while I was away in Vancouver with my boyfriend. Ah. She is a dog trainer. She is phenomenal. I absolutely adore her. She's got a work ethic and dedication that's close to unparalleled. But she took my little Ruby Woo for me, did some leash training. So I'm very excited to get my girl back. I miss her. The house is so quiet and the cat keeps like looking for her. He doesn't know what to do without her. And then I need to train. In between all of this, I'll be doing client work, so I probably need to get started on that anyway so I don't get too far behind. I always save my oats for last because it's like a little dessert, but sometimes to break up the egg, I just have to take a bite. It is now 11.39 a.m. Oh, just had a little massage. I, oh, I've just had this like stupid shoulder impingement and I need to leave to go get my dog soon, but hot potato. I've never air fried a spiced chicken fold before. I always pan fry it. I've had to microwave it a couple of times, but I'm excited about this. I almost wish that I would have flipped it halfway because look at this side, perfect. This side, still, still a little soggy. Not like soggy, but it's just like, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Oh gosh, this is so gas. This is like, as long as I can fit one of these in my macros, I will be. Mmm. I also still have literally, what am I even doing? What is that? I have so much hot sauce left over from the Arnold still. And Taco Bell hot sauce is literally the perfect addition to a spiced chicken fold. Gotta fortify myself for a couple hours on the road here. <laughs> oh, I was telling you about my shoulder situation. So, I don't know, at some point, so I tried snowboarding for the first time this year. Maybe you saw it on TikTok. Maybe you didn't, I don't know. Tried snowboarding for the first time this year. It was so much fun. I feel like I did pretty good for having never done it ever in my life before. I did take lessons. And um, day two, I got maybe just a little cocky and took a bit of a tumble. And ever since, I got a little bit of a pain in my left ankle somehow. And then my right, like, shoulder. I don't know. Part of me thinks that this is all connected because I also created the disc kind of on the right side back last fall. I'm gonna be so for real. I just sort of feel like my body is starting to fail me. Like I'm getting older, I'm in my mid thirties. I have to concede to that fact. 
and things just don't work the same. Yesterday, yesterday I was doing rack pulls at the gym and for the first time in my life, I experienced urinary stress incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence. Basically, I pissed my pants while I was doing rack pulls. Um, totally fine. It's a normal occurrence. It, what happens is that the pressure bearing down on the urethra um, is greater than the pressure holding the urethra closed. So you just piss a little. And so, like, it's whatever, but it tells me that I have a bit of a pelvic floor weakness. I also know that I've probably been over bracing in a lot of my compound lifts since I hurt my back. So now it's like, great, now I need to start <laughs> doing some friggin' pelvic floor therapy, which is fine. I'm not gonna go see a specialist or anything. I'm just gonna therapize my pelvic floor myself. I haven't exactly figured out what that's gonna look like just yet. I'm still doing some research on that, but um, I think it'll be good knowledge to have for my clients as well because I do have, um, you know, postnatal clients and it's just a common issue. It happens. Wow, look at my legs. Okay. In case anyone was wondering, three hot sauce packets from Taco Bell is the perfect amount for a spice chicken fold. Live, laugh, loving for these angles. <laughs> okay, it's basically time for me to, mm, that's a really bad angle. Okay, I have to go get my dog, but I'm taking a buff coffee for the road. And I'm just gonna put it in a little heel mix here, Code Renee, Code Kenzie, etc. Oh Lord, okay, that's 16 grams, 20 grams. I don't know, sometimes I just like, get in these phases where I'm like, I'm gonna lay out my powder suit. And then other times I'll be like, I don't give a fuck, it's close enough. Like either way, I'm gonna finish the tub. <laughs> this is probably the first prep that I've ever weighed them out. I just think that sometimes that's a really finite detail that we don't need to be stressed about. Anyway, I'm also adding half scoop of fudge brownie buffet. Fudge brownie is the goat. Fudge brownie is the flavor that made me fall in love with buff chick. If you don't know our romance, or than a love story. I was actually working with a different supplement company and um, Buff Chick reached out to me, actually Meg reached out to me and was like, hey, can I send you some of my supplements? And at the time, I didn't even know that she had a supplement company. So I was like, oh my God, I'm absolutely shitting myself, sure. So she sent me over the biggest care package. I think it had pretty much the whole lineup. The OGs, the goats were in there, fudge brownie buff way, uh, sour lemon, creatine, etc and mm, perfect and so they were just sending me PR for like a year or so and then eventually finally they were like hey you're so cute funny sexy gorgeous we want to put you on the team so I became the fifth sponsored athlete sixth I can't remember I know that I spend literally so much time gushing about buff chick just but like truly there's not another supplement company out there that's doing what they're doing for their athletes um, or that has such a clear and decisive message and intention behind their mission. It is all about fueling performance in sports and not about better get skinny, better use this fat burner. Mm, here's lady protein. What the fuck is that? God, that's just so good. And then I'm also, of course, bringing my water, bringing my wah wah. What else do I need? I feel like I'm forgetting things. Huh. This end of my counter has been the bane of my existence for forever. I was going to do this like, I had this vision in my head, this very half cocked. All the visions in my head are 100% half cocked. And I was like, oh, I'll do like a mm, empties, products I'm loving. But really what I think is more beneficial is what am I restocking? Because if I'm restocking it, if I ask for more, that's how you know it's truly gas. I got more fudge brownie buff way. I got more peanut butter cookie buff way. Turns out I really love that one. And I got more strawberry milkshake. I still struggle with orange creamsicle. I, like I have to admit that this is my least favorite flavor. I don't, I don't know, I just don't vibe with her. I don't know how to use it. I thought, oh, it would be great in the Ninja Creamy, but I don't really use my creamy. I don't know. Sour lemon creatine, obviously. She is goaded. I already have one open in the cupboard and I'm putting another one right behind here because I can't, I don't think I can go a day without sour lemon. I have a flavor that's going to restock fairly soon as well as the icy blue raspberry and strawberry kiwi on deck, but sour lemon is 
just that girl. What do I have here? Oh, I have greens and reds, peach bellini, and strawberry kiwi reds. Lime and icy lemonade greens, and then of course I got two creamy coffees. Imagine I have a manicure and it makes the cute ASMR sound. Just imagine with me. Use your imagination! And I got one more cold brew. I like cold brew. I don't know that I love her, which is interesting because I thought that as like a black coffee drinker, I would gravitate towards the black ones. But I actually find that when I have an iced coffee, I want just a little something extra. Okay. I'm going to get 20 more minutes of work done. This is how I break up my work day. I probably work like, okay, you have to remember that I have multiple jobs. I have a coaching job and an influencing job. The coaching side of things, depending on my client load for the day, I do client work seven days a week, mind you, um, anywhere from five to seven hours. And so oftentimes it's broken up in chunks like this. I might get a three hour chunk in the morning and then an hour long chunk here and then 20 minutes there and then another 40 minutes there. So it just kind of like ends up broken up throughout my day like that. And then the influencing stuff, sometimes I just shoot from the hip. Sometimes I have a plan, but again, all the plans are half cocked, baby. I should save this for the road. Okay, let's get back to work. This ended up not being like really a full day of eating. This is actually more just like a vlog. Me talking to myself, this is, the stupid part is that because I live alone, because I'm by myself here, please don't come and do a home invasion now that you know that information. But because of that, I spend all day talking to myself. Or when my dog's here, I talk to her. Who am I talking to? Who are you talking to, babe? Oh, okay, guess who's home? Sit. Ruby, sit. Oh, did you forget your manners while you were away? Ruby, sit. Okay, well, that's laying down. Literally. Ashley, what did you do to my dog? Sit. Uh. Uh-uh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, my God. You little wild child. You little wild child. Place. Okay, at least she remembers that. <laughs> okay, so now it is pre-workout snack time. Ooh la la la, this is my least favorite cereal. Um, I eat gluten-free for the most part, so this is Fruit Flows. It's okay. I prefer the Berry Vanilla Puffs from the same brand, Cascadian Farms. Oh, my lancha. Wait, how many grams do I need? Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then because I'm a little low on produce, like in general, because I still haven't had a chance to go grocery shopping since I got back from Vancouver, just gonna add some frozen berries to the mix here. I mean, I have fresh berries, but for some reason, the frozen ones just sounded better. It's like 70 degrees out and sunny, love that. And also, I know that I'm going to have, um, what's she called? Stir fry veggie with dinner. Now we're busting out the Fruity cereal milk, fruit cereal milk, um, protein powder. I'm gonna have three quarters of a scoop now and three quarters of a scoop with my post-workout snack. Typically I have some fats. Wait, what, what would three quarters of 28 be? Seven, 14, 21. I left my stinking Gila mix in the car. Did I tell you guys my dishwasher's broken? Yeah, still need to figure that out. Still have client work to do. Need to get my training done. I'm pretty sure I have a call at either 6 or 6.30. I need to double check on that. So I just really kind of like fucked myself schedule wise today. It's, it's fine though. It'll be fine. I tell myself every day. Even though it never feels fine. You know what it is about this flavor for me? Like the Fruity Pebbles Fruit Loops type vibe? Is that many moons ago when I was a wee stoner. I used to make can of butter. And I would always make Rice Krispie treats with fruity pebbles and like I would use the can of butter in the marshmallow situation. So that's just automatically what I think of. Okay, at this point I am just actively working myself into a tizzy. <laughs> it is 3.15 which is a lot later than I prefer to train to be quite honest. I'm going to have a scoop of watermelon pump. Again, out of glasses because my fucking dishwasher is broken. Woo woo woo. And then intro workout. Okay. Here's 
here's my conundrum. This is officially my last scoop of Buff Chick Intro, which is a BCAA and electrolyte supplement. I do enjoy having BCAAs intro workout. The problem is the Buff Chick is discontinuing their intro. Um, something else is coming, but it won't be a BCAA supplement. So womp womp. Am I allowed to say this online yet? I don't know. But I am going to enjoy my last scoop of Green Apple Buff Intro with my true love. Sour love and creatine, obviously. I've actually got a bit of a headache, and the problem with having a headache on a push day, I always get an exertion headache on a push day. So I'm just like, oh, I know that this is just going to absolutely suck ass. On the bright side, though, I've got my adorable Buff Chick Traveling Cup Apparatuses. Yay! Yay! It's almost 70 degrees out. So we're just gonna put the sunnies on, roll the windows down, play some music, put my phone on do not disturb. I'm so sorry to my clients that are awaiting a response. They're probably like, you fucking piece of shit now. I wanna fire me right now. I pride myself on being a very responsive coach. Boy, howdy. All right, let's go. Oh, guess we hard launched the vape. <laughs> Today I'm at the um, busiest of the three gym locations that I go to. It is the hardest to record in. Um, obviously not where I will be training legs. I'm going to do a mic'd up leg day. Uh, partially because I have a deep need for external validation and Instagram really loved that mic'd up, um, the like clip I did, the promo clip or whatever for the mic'd up posterior chain day. So I'm like, let me do more of that. I got like almost a thousand followers off of that, which is crazy. Just drove down the road, sipping on my iced beverage, beverage. Why did I say beverage twice? Listening to STP, some Stone Temple Pilots, some 311. I'm feeling marginally less stressed. I've got exactly three hours until my posing session. So I think that between making up missed steps on the treadmill and doing my actual workout, I think I can get like my client work caught up and I just think that I might survive. I might survive the day. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go. Okay, I mean, before I improve the lighting, you see that, right? Like, you, you see what I'm seeing, right? Oh. It is. 5.30, somebody turned up gravity today. Somebody's fucking with me, you know? They turned up gravity and everything was so heavy. I got my ass absolutely annihilated this push day. And today's one of those days where I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the prep. I am feeling it. But I'm also just like seeing so many new lines that it's like, okay, I will endure. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, post-workout snack. One, chocolate rice cake. Ah, uh, yeah, Trader Joe's salted almond butter. Look, I feel like everybody should know this trick by now, but you put the full jar of nut butter on there. So then it comes up as zero. You probably can't see that, but that's fine. And then you scoop it out and see what it weighs. Whoa, that's 11. So I just need a half serving with this air quotes meal. To amp up the salts, this is my fancy salt container. I got her on Amazon. I've got some salty flakes here. Oh, and I just crumble them between my fingers. Love how you can't even see that. And then a little over the shoulder for luck. And then I need three quarters of a serving again. Uh, the reason that they're awkward servings is because I have a buff coffee. Um, I don't want to live a life without buff coffee, quite frankly. What's 30 divided by four? Everybody yell it out. Shout it out if you've got the answer. Um, it's gonna be like 22-ish. Ooh, 24. Ooh, 24. Uh, am I a math wizard? Am I a math sweet? I was a math sweet, actually. I, com I did compete in the... Mathletics events. 
Oh, curse you neighbors. My neighbors park in front of my house, so it makes my house look ghetto. It already looks ghetto enough because of the half-finished siding project. And then the street sweeper can never get it. And then they park in front of me, and I look white trash. And I am, but I don't want to look that way. That rice cake is stale. God, thank you for the sustenance. See, but I'm just like noticing new, new lines. Getting a pump today was extremely difficult. Oh, that reminds me. Where's my phone? Okay, so you know how Apple just like randomly installed that journal app on everybody's phone without asking? I figured out how I'm going to use it. It's not like I'm going to put my deepest, darkest secrets in here, but I want to, I wanted to write about the training, my, like my training day in it. Because look, it'll show like my workouts and stuff. So I thought what I could do is I could take my workout activity from my watch and write about the workout. Because today everything was very heavy. I had a really hard time getting a pump, but I saw a bunch of new lines. Like, I know that you see them. Tell me that you see them. Gosh, I'm so big and juicy. So my thought was, this is how I'll utilize this freaking app that I didn't ask for. But it hasn't populated my, um, my strength training yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I doing? What am I thinking about? How, let's, let's check in. Sound off in the comments below. How are you doing today? How have you been recently? Are you all right? Let me know. Something about a mess in the kitchen just makes me, ah. Uh, it's time to crack open a cold one. Listen, my boyfriend got me the best present ever. He got, okay, not the Zen stuck to the, <laughs> embarrassing. Welcome to, this is how you can tell the prep is prepping, okay? Um, Cause I'm just doing absent-minded shit like that. But my boyfriend got me these true lime pockets. Holy moly. I don't know if you picked up on this, but I am a citrus girly. Through and through, love it so much. Cannot live without it. And so I just, oh, amp up the citrus and the, ooh, these are so good. This is my favorite one. This is the Target brand, watermelon, lime, sparkling water. Mm. Yes. It's so limey. Blimey, that's limey. I've got about 45 minutes until a posing call this evening. So I'm going to go finish my steps in my office and get some work done. Everyone always comments about this. Uh, whenever I make like a TikTok video or an Instagram story, me like craning to be in the frame. But I found these um, Apple watch bands on Amazon that are super stretchy and they've just got a little slider so that it easily adjusts to fit on my ankle or my wrist. And then I just wear my little thing while I'm walking so that that this is such a good shot. Influencer AF. But that way, all of my steps are fully tracked and not a single one is missed. Honestly, y'all wouldn't even believe how productive I've been. Got client work caught up, finally. I know I've been bitching about that all day. It just stresses me out. I just, you know, when they're like waiting on me to respond, it makes like, mm, don't like that. Don't like that. And then I did that posing session. Jamie, girl, if you're watching this, relax. You're gonna be just fine. And now it's time for Din Din. It's actually way past dinner time and I'm very hungry. I've been really into stir fry veggies lately in the air fryer for an indeterminate amount of time a few people somewhat recently have asked me for recipes and i'm like question because there are no recipes just vibes it's always been that way always been a bowl full of shit always been no recipes so this here is hummus fit cod uh <laughs> this is groundbreaking revolutionary because my house does not smell like fish, and that is so rad. I also tend to be extremely particular about my fish, as in I will only eat Kroger brand cod, and hummus fit passes the test. So my house doesn't smell bad, it tastes good, it's like, it is seasoned, but not so much so that I can't put sauce or seasoning on it. It tastes good, the texture is good. What a game changer. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Okay, this bowl gets very, very hot, and it was in the microwave, but there's what she looks like. It's just stir-fried veg and cod. 
that's the recipe. And then I'm going to weigh out a serving of the Flavor Gang Butcher's, uh, no, drive through sauce. Flavor Gang Butcher's, the Butcher sauce is really good. That one's probably my favorite. Um, Code Kenzie or your mom's a hoe. I don't make the rules. I can tell myself that I'm eating fish sticks and tater tots with this sauce, which is why I enjoy it so. And I think it's about time to crack open another cold one. I'm gonna have me a poppy. My favorite flavor is watermelon. Don't have watermelon on deck. We're just gonna make cockadoodle do with what we got. And I do need to visit a Trader Joe's soon ish. But I like the green goddess. I've been really into uh, salt lately. Give me more salt, please. Oh my gosh, we've made it to the end of the day. I have to show you. So I got this all cleaned up, obviously. Look. Look at this. It's like a little shrine to Buff Chick back here. Actually, in here too. I like all my subs to be faced. I don't know, it just makes me feel better. This is the BCA supplement that I purchased. Um, it's unflavored, that way I can put my flavored creatine in there. Um, or perhaps like a hydration pack of some sort that has flavor to it. So that I'm getting the electrolytes, my BCAs, and I typically drink my creatine intra-workout. That's, that's my grand plan. I'm honestly so fucking tired. I keep forgetting that I woke up at literally 4.30 in the morning. I have no idea what's happening. How did we get here? Who knows? This is my, the final thing that I ingest for the day. A half scoop of somatomize. I think I linked it in my Amazon storefront. If I didn't, somebody comment and let me know and I'll fix that. I take my buff reds in the evening because it's got calming ingredients. <laughs> Along with my little cocktail, I take a fish oil. I take my buff chick flourish. I take fiber pills, and then I take this because my coach told me to. I think that tonight I will take one of these. This is a sleep supplement. I don't super love it because it has melatonin in it, and it's not good to supplement with melatonin every day. I feel like I have to harp on that because people are like, yep, taking melatonin, sleeping great. Well, guess what? You're also taking your body's natural melatonin production. Melatonin should really only be supplemented like once or twice a week. Occasionally I also take magnesium. I just take Calm because it's available at the grocery store. And I'm really bad about reordering stuff when I'm out or like having it on its way. I don't know what happened, but at some point after I quit my full-time job, I just like my, I like the way that my schedule was, I had no choice but to be so type A about literally everything. And then I got super chill and lax. And now like I'm low key kind of a flake. I run late a lot of the time. I am pretty disorganized. <laughs> like I really depended on that structure and routine. Anyway, here's my, down, down the hatch. In retrospect, I probably should have had some green beans with my spiced chicken fold. If I have a spiced chicken fold, that's what I do. I have some green beans on the side. So I've got a fruit or veg at pretty much every meal. Meal. Yes, I depend heavily on supplementation and I like sweet treats. It helps me stay compliant. I'm very careful about the ingredients selected though. Um, to me, a rice cake and peanut butter and a protein shake is a sweet treat, at least in contest prep, because I'm pretty dumb bad. But um, yeah, was today the best day ever? No, not really. I had like random three hours of driving. Um, you know, but uh, honestly, say la vie. Should have been more prepared, and that's on me. But here's the other thing. I have my macros, so what the fuck? You know, it's literally fine. And this is the conversation I have with myself every day. I just go back and forth. Ugh. Making progress. Saw new lines at the gym today. Was especially weak at the gym today. So I would just say that it is working. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me on this full day of eating at 10 and a half weeks out. Um, hopefully. I'm really in that me just yapping now at the end. Uh, but I'm really at that phase where I'm like, am I going to be ready in time? Am I going to make it? Which I think every competitor thinks at this point. But <sighs> I'm just going to keep stacking up perfect days, doing what my coach tells me to, and it's all going to be literally fine. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.